The Westminster Economic Development Initiative, also known as WEEDY, is the nonprofit organization behind the West Side Bazaar and the Downtown Bazaar. But now there are serious allegations of mismanagement. Good evening, I'm Mary Alice Stemler. And I'm Scott Levin. Two on your side's Nate Benson is looking into this story for us tonight, which was brought to light by the former Buffalo News food critic. Right, Nate? Yeah, that's right, Scott. Former Buffalo News food editor Andrew Galarno published an in-depth article on his website, website talking to several sources about mismanagement by Weedy. Galarno spent 13 years as the Buffalo News food editor and restaurant critic. Before that, he was an investigative reporter at numerous papers around the country. Thursday, he published an article on his website, 4bytes.net, about Weedy and the West Side Bazaar. The story says that tenants uh, are not feeling well served. In it, he highlighted from sources, questionable hiring or contracts given to those with a personal relationship with the executive director, a $400,000 budget deficit, the potential closing of the downtown bazaar, and safety concerns at the West Side Bazaar on Niagara Street. It revealed for the first time that, to most people's knowledge, that half of the businesses in the new West Side Bazaar have already split or have given notice because of conditions there. One West Side Bazaar tenant we spoke with said there were reoccurring security issues earlier this year. We did have a peddler situation that I think could have been handled with a little bit more grace and direction. Kimberly Bezzati operates the Read It and Eat bookstore at the West Side Bazaar. Support for tenants of the bazaar have been lacking, Bezzati says. The first three months when the West Side Bazaar opened, there was marketing support driven by Weedy. And since that marketing support has stopped, there is a dip in attendance. According to Galarno's article, Weedy has even issued $100 fines to tenants who violate kitchen rules. Two on your side tried reaching out to Weedy Executive Director Carolyn Welch to discuss the allegations, but she was unavailable. Weedy member Steve Zanger spoke with us over the phone about the claim. Has the Weedy board voted to close the downtown bazaar? No, they have not. Zanger said the downtown lease expires at the end of the year and they are looking at finding a way to keep it open. Zanger pointed out in his article that the organization is facing a $400,000 deficit. Is that accurate? It's not accurate. I think that was accurate at one point. He says the organization has recently done some belt tightening and fundraising. Do you characterize uh, the situation right now as mismanagement within the organization? I, I do not. I mean, with all due respect to the article, I think, you know, as we stated in the comments, it, it was pretty one sided. Galarno dismissed the statement by Weedy that his reporting was inaccurate. I read that as prove it. And I say, OK. Now, this story has a lot of ins and outs. We have more details posted right now on our website and a link to Andrew's original reporting and more statements from Weedy. On your side, Nate Benson, Channel 2 News.